As a child, I would have recurring dreams that I could flap my arms and fly. I think um, you know, private space travel is the future. I mean, at the moment, there are just three of us working on it, Elon, Jeff Bezos and ourselves. And I think between the three of us, we'll, de we'll deliver some pretty exciting things. Space tourism has been discussed for decades, but the road to widespread commercial travel beyond Earth has been rocky. It's taken longer than we thought. Um, uh, space is difficult, rocket science is difficult. Um, but um, I think we're hopefully finally close to being there. In September, Virgin Galactic, the spaceflight subsidiary of the Virgin Group, completed its first test flight nearly two years after its space tourism plane crashed, killing one pilot and seriously injuring another. We're roughly where we were just after the accident and we're going through the test program and hopefully we're, we're nearly there. I'll be going in our first space launch. Richard Branson is not the only one working to take tourists to outer space. Jeff Bezos and his spaceflight company Blue Origin aim to take their first travelers to space by 2018. The company has had four successful test flights and is on track to launch test pilots by 2017. And Elon Musk announced his plan to colonize Mars over the course of 100 years. His company, SpaceX, hopes to launch an unmanned mission in 2018 and a manned mission in 2024. If things go according to plan, we should be able to uh, should be able to launch people probably in 2024 with arrival in 2025. Still, for the time being, private space travel is a luxury reserved for the super rich. For instance, tickets for Virgin Galactic flights are sold for as much as $250,000. But experts say as more space tourism companies enter the market, prices could become more affordable. Within the next few years, thousands of people will have been to space, whereas up to now only about 500 people have been to space in the history of space travel. 